The Bible says in, uh, let's see, keep reading here. I forget exactly where we left off. Let's pick up in verse number 22. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little that thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But the Lord thy God shall deliver them unto thee and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into thine hand and thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven. There shall no man be able to stand before thee until thou have destroyed them. Verse 25, look at this. The graven images of their God shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. He said, I don't care how sparkly it is. I don't care how nice or attractive it may look. He says, that's a cursed thing. Don't bring that into your house. Don't, don't set your eyes on it and gaze upon it. You know, there's an image that we have in our society today. There's an altar that gets set up in many people's homes that's tapped right in to the devil's work, and it's called the television. And I don't care how shiny and fancy it looks and how attractive it may be to your flesh and what you want to consume and put in front of your eyes, but I'm telling you, beware of putting the wicked thing before your eyes. And I'm not saying the appliance itself is wicked. The electronics inside it, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the images that are going to come through that screen that you're going to consume and allow go into your brain. You know, the programming that's set forth by the people who produce the work there. Because if you don't understand this, you know, everything that you see on that screen is a production it's not real. There's going to be takes after take after take. Now, I'm not saying that every single thing ever can't have any truth to it, but what you're looking at is what a person wants you to see. There's great documentaries. There's great documentaries that are given out by this church, but you know what? A lot of work and effort went into those documentaries to show people what we want them to see. We want people to see the truth from God's word. And that is the message going forth out of those documentaries. What do you think is the message coming out of Hollywood? The people who, are, who are, live the wicked lifestyle, the people who literally may have their own altars and worship Baal themselves, what is their message? You have to stop and think about that because there is a lot of work that goes into the television programming to program you. There's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of power. There's a lot of influence. How many perverts and pedophiles have to be exposed before you, especially at the top levels of the people behind the programming, before you say, maybe I ought to think about this and, and not put this in front of my eyes. Maybe I ought to be like David and say, you know, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes and not allow the graven images of their gods be put in front of you and look at the shiny silver and the gold and not take it unto you because it's going to be a snare unto your soul. Don't set the abominable thing before your eyes to behold. Verse 26, Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it. Joash, you know, Gideon's father, he had that altar of Baal right in his property, right in his, you know, he's the one who set it up. Then as a result, you know, Gideon's going like, we got to get rid of this thing. And then the people want to kill him for taking it down, for getting rid of the wicked thing. Don't allow the wickedness into your house. Verse 26, Neither shalt thou bring an abomination to thine house, lest thou, be accursed, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. We need to learn to hate the things that are antichrist. We need to learn the things that, to hate the things that are against God. The wicked things, the extremely wicked, abominable filth, we need to learn to hate those things. If you don't already, if it doesn't already turn your stomach, if you, don't already, you can't already look at the things that are vile and wicked and reprehensible by God in this world and say, I hate it. 